All right, welcome back to another episode of Designs and Logging Tutorials. I've been asked by numerous people to do a tutorial on how I make my PDAs. Well, right here I got deep logging, as you can tell. Now the first thing you want to do is go up here to create, go down to camera. Well, it gives you a camera right there. Don't touch anything. Go over here to view, camera. Okay, now you're looking at that camera. Now this is the way I do mine. There's a lot of different ways. A lot of different modders do theirs different ways. For instance, I have a buddy that does a ton of screenshots and makes his highly detailed. I go to the translate Y, put it about 2000. The rotate X, I put it negative 90. Which gives me, you can use that PDA of course, or you can go right here to camera, go to orthographic, set the height to about 2300 and that gives you a pretty good PDA right there you can play around with it you know if you wanted to get it right around 2200 or if you wanted to go 2000 however you want to do it now your next step is I use the screenshot shortcut with Windows 10 you can use the snipping tool you can use print screen however you take a screenshot this is how I take mine is Windows key left shift S. I get up here in the top corner. I select my entire map. Alright, so all you're going to do is I just created a blank folder on my desktop. Don't matter. Here's a screenshot right here. Hit save. So that's saved. Alright, so then you go back to your map. You can actually go back to view select your original perspective camera and you can actually delete that camera at that point you can exit out of your map all right what you're gonna do is you're going to your main map folder which is this is my map folder right here you can see map by 3d you're gonna go to overview.dds you're gonna right click on it open with and I use Photoshop you can use paint.net this is my overview right here this is my PDA for my map if you hit escape this is what you see you know with your background and everything here's their screenshot we took a while ago in Giants editor what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this as you can tell I just have the move, move tool selected we're gonna grab it drag it right here and we're actually gonna size it to this size See, as you can tell, it's perfectly centered. See, perfectly centered. And it's the same size as the map. Out of habit, I always like to double click on this and hit OK to unlock the background layer. And as you can tell, there's your map. What you can do, if you want to edit your background layer, you can go in here. You can, you know, do whatever you want on this background layer and that will all be behind your map okay what you have to do now is go to save as go down here to where you see save as type go down to DDS now you'll see that pop up you want to take off uncheck alpha channels and then all you'll do is click save and it'll ask do you want to replace this and you click yes and then that's all you do. You open your game up and you have your map. Now if you wanted to, <clears throat> while you actually have it over here, as by itself, if you say you want the water to appear on there and you didn't do it screenshot by screenshot, you can go in there like this and you can paint your little water in there and go up here and paint your little water and you know if you wanted your roads to appear go right here you could always you know make your roads a lot more visible and then that's pretty much all there is to making a PDA so y'all kinda leave me some feedback and let me know what y'all wanna know how to do next and we'll go from there appreciate you watching